Hello, welcome to a 48 hour readathon vlog. Yes, I have bangs now. Um, this was an impulsive decision while I was on winter break. I hate them. <laughs> I should not have done this. Do not leave me alone for too long or else I just start doing things I shouldn't. And this is one of them. Honestly, I don't hate them because I did them too short. Actually, I did a great job cutting them. I think this is a week of growth. Like I will pop in a picture of what they looked like when I freshly cut them. Look at the difference. Look at how much my hair has grown. Um, I'm just trying to wear them down. Oh no, that's not a look. Oh no. This is why I can't do bangs. They just annoy the heck out of me, but I'm trying to wear them down when I'm like home. I've been clipping them up when I'm at work because I honestly just don't want people to know that I did this. Like, I don't want them to know that that impulsive, like second person of me did this to me. <laughs> so we've been clipping them back every day at work. And um, yeah, but I'm trying to like let them breathe, I guess on the weekends. And it's currently Friday and I just got home from visiting a friend who lost their cat this week. And we were both crying and talking about her cat because I cat sit for her. So I knew him pretty well and it was just, super sad and um yeah i feel really emotionally exhausted now like i was there for like an hour and a half just like crying and stuff like she was giving me some stuff of his that he doesn't need and he's actually on the same medication that my old lady cat pebbles is on so she gave me the rest of that to like use up with her but anyways so it is now almost dinner time but i thought i'd pull up on here show you my hideous bangs <laughs> and maybe try to like hide these somehow like can i flip them over and you won't see them very well maybe i'll take the rest of my hair down so they'll just like blend in while i chat with you all see what bangs they're gone <laughs> but um anywho let's kick off this vlog so i'm participating in a 48 hour readathon this weekend hosted by steph it is a backlist readathon so we're reading anything but new books which is very exciting new books in terms of publication dates so like anything published 2023 and later so i got a fat stack of books that i hope to get through this weekend so let's go over them so first up i have quite a few graphic novels that i want to get through so the first one is wings of fire graphic novel book seven so i read all the books but now they're adapting the books into graphic novels so i'm basically rereading this story because i already know the story through the novel, but I'm reading it via graphic novel and it's super fun. So I'm really excited to read this one. I love the Wings of Fire universe and I'm so excited to dive into this one. I'm also desperate to start Heartstopper Volume 5. I believe I heard somebody say this is the last one, which makes me so sad. I don't know if that's true, but I haven't read this yet. This would be such a quick read and it just came in the mail the other day and I'm dying to get to it. So this is definitely happening. And I also want to get to Lore Olympus Volume 3. I feel like I'm falling kind of behind on this series, but I have been really enjoying it. So I want to I want to dive back in and for books um i don't really know if you'd count this as a book i think this is actually a novella and i just got the audiobook in from libby and that is the salt grows heavy by cassandra cha i think i could read this in one sitting it's like 100 pages if that and i don't know anything about this so i will let you know when or if I get to it and then I also have All Systems Red as an audiobook that just came in. Everyone's been ranting and raving about how good this is in the discord that I'm part of so I kind of feel like I should read it. So that's a possibility and then my current read oh my gosh I read book one yesterday I read it all in like one sitting and I immediately had to dive into book two. So I'm currently reading The Dark One, I think it's called. It's book two in the Vicious Lost Boys series. Oh, it's so bad, but it's so good. It's so good. So it's a KU, a fantasy romance, romanticy, whatever you want to call it. And it's dark. It's real weird at times, but like, I 
can't stop reading it. Like I read the first one because it was my in-person book club pick for January, which we have our meeting next week. So I'm like, oh, I should just start that. I read it all in like one day. I started it and finished it same day. I'm like, wow, that was so good. Granted, it's really short, so I could fly through it. And then last night, I'm like, okay, what am I gonna start? So I'm like, I don't know. And then I somehow ended up on KU. I tripped and stumbled and got the next book and read like 20% last night. My battery died, apologies. But like I was saying, um, I started book two last night and am now 60% through it. It's so addicting, I can't stop. And honestly, it's making me so giddy because like I haven't found a book or a book series that has hooked me. And that's a good pun because it's a Peter Pan retelling. So I have not found like a book or series that has hooked me so quickly that I just want to devour all the books right now. So that's a really refreshing feeling. And I think that's due in part with me just like letting go of TBRs and just not having a reading challenge looming over my head. I kind of just feel like I'm going back to when I was reading when I was like 15, 16, 17. I was just devouring books and then I take breaks and then I devour books and then take breaks and I just I want to go back to that because that's when I was reading the best quality books was when I was just reading what I wanted and reading when I felt like it and not forcing myself to keep up with all the booktube people that I follow which Nothing wrong with reading a ton of books, but I think for me personally, it's better when I scale back. But uh, anyways, so like I had mentioned, this is a Peter Pan retelling. I don't even like Peter Pan as a story, and yet, and yet, I'm devouring this. I'm just obsessed. It's so good. So I do plan on finishing uh, the second book in the series this weekend because I don't have that much left. I might even finish it tonight. Who knows? But I might dive right into book three. I mean, I'm... I might. <laughs> you know, you never know. But I think this is a pretty reasonable TBR for a 48 hour readathon. So yeah, I have two audiobooks, three graphic novels, and one ebook that I want to finish, and potentially one ebook I'll start but don't necessarily have to finish. So yeah, I also have my TBR sitting over here. I do have some pretty thick, chunky fantasy books that I'm buddy reading with lots of people, but I just want to focus on this readathon for this vlog. You know, the TBR is there. It'll happen or not, doesn't matter. But the only two books I really need to get through in January is Ruin of Kings and Elantris for buddy reads that I'm doing. But like otherwise, it's okay, it's fine. So it is pretty much time for me to go down to my parents for dinner and we're having pizza. I'm very excited. They got me my favorite pickle pizza, which I'm very excited. It sounds weird. I know, but it's amazing. Don't knock until you tried it. It's fantastic. So I'm really excited and my mom actually was able to call and request gluten-free pizza and they could do that. They said they have very limited quantity of gluten-free dough. But they were able to do that and I'm so hyped because I was so sad when my mom said she wanted to go to this pizza place. I'm like, oh, I probably can't go there because they don't do gluten free. But then she called I'm like, oh yeah, we could do that on special requests. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> so I'm very hyped, also very hungry. So I'm gonna go eat and then I'll come home and probably do some reading and then see where the night takes me. I might want to watch some more of my TV show I'm in the middle of or watch some TV or a movie or something so I don't get totally burnt out on reading. But yeah, welcome to the readathon vlog. I hope y'all enjoy. Hello friends, it is later on Friday. I'm so full of pizza, it's wonderful. I also decided to have a root beer float because why not? And I started playing a new Switch game. Everybody in the Discord that I'm in has been ranting and raving about like games that they're playing on their Switch. And I'm like, y'all are making me want to return to my Switch. I got a Switch at the beginning of COVID. I remember my mom and I went to Fred Meyers and I got a Switch and I was obsessed with Animal Crossing. I would play that like every day after I got my homework done and my online classes and it was super fun. Like I played it like every single day for the two, three years of like the main pandemic, you know? And then I kind of stopped playing it, especially once graduation hit and I've been working full time. I haven't touched my Switch at all, but people are really obsessed with Fae Farm right now, but I went to go look at it and it's like $60. I'm like, mm, 
a little expensive and then I also canceled the membership that I had with Nintendo so I don't know if I want to get that back I don't know if I need that to play Fay Farm so let me know I did look it up and it says you do and I'm like mm, I don't know <laughs> But somebody had mentioned this game called Good Pizza, Great Pizza, and they said it was a mobile phone game that they had. I'm like, well, I'm curious if it's on the Switch, and it is. So for $9, I'm like, okay, that's like not bad. And I had some points apparently, so it was like a little bit less than that even. I started playing that tonight. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. <laughs> Do y'all remember Papa's Freezeria? Like, did y'all ever play that? I was obsessed with that. I actually have the app of that game on my iPad. I'm on level like 75 or something. <laughs> like, I've played that game for so many years and it's ridiculous, but I love that game. And honestly, Good Pizza, Great Pizza reminds me of that. It's so fun. It is so fun the customers are pretty passive aggressive <laughs> like they're definitely a little meaner than like the papa freezeria people but still so fun so i see that being um another thing i want to do this weekend so things i want to get done this weekend obviously my tbr want to get that done but i'm also in the middle of a cat puzzle that i have been working on most of winter break and did not finish um, I haven't done a puzzle in I don't even know how many years and this one's hard. It's really, it really shouldn't be. It's a 500 piece puzzle. Like that should not be hard. But all of the pieces are like the exact same color and I'm having a real hard time figuring out where, what should be and what and who and it's, it's a struggle. So I had told my mom that I was working on this puzzle and like it would be really nice if I had somewhere I could like put the puzzle on because the cats keep wanting to play with it. And so she actually ordered for me and her this puzzle organizer. So the one she ordered holds up to 1200 piece puzzles and it has drawers in the bottom and it's a swivel top so you can like rotate the puzzle around and it sits on your table and I'm like, that is amazing. That'll make doing this puzzle so much easier. Like I'm entering my like hobby era, I guess, you know, my Switch, my Cricut, puzzles. Like, I feel like this is, this is my year. I don't know. I have really high hopes for 2024. Like, I feel like this is going to be the year where I just do what I want want and like do what sounds good and like stop doing things that are horrible or I'm not enjoying like life is too short for that and I feel like 2023 was a lot of that and I just was putting a lot of pressure on myself to do things that I didn't want to do and I'm like why girl why why are you, why are you doing that I don't know <laughs> I, I really don't know so I also think I might wash my hair it's it's like fine, like the, my whole head is fine besides my scalp is like extremely like greasy. It just happens, it's so annoying. Like I don't understand the girlies who can go like seven days without washing their hair. I'm like, how? <laughs> I am lucky if I make it to day three, which like never happens. I have to wash my hair like every other day. My hair just doesn't do well without being washed more frequently. So don't know if that's just me, but all the girlies I see, like I get recommended all these videos on like YouTube shorts of like, yeah, here's my day 14 hair. I'm like, how, how <laughs> could not be me? I mean, maybe it could be me if I actually use the right like shampoo or whatever. I just use herbal essence. I'm not out here trying to spend, you know, $60 on shampoo or whatever, like, I've always just used the cheapo stuff, which maybe isn't the greatest, but, you know, it's grown my hair down to my butt several times in my life, so, you know, maybe it's doing something, I don't know. Anywho, I'm gonna shower and just kind of get ready for bed. I don't want to stay up too late, because I do want to get up kind of early so I can get a head start on chores and listening to audiobooks because I do have chores for this house, but it's fine, you know? I can probably listen to an entire one of the books that I wanna read for this readathon during my chores, because we gotta mop, take out the trash, clean the kitchen, and just pick up in general, do some cleaning, wiping of things, and it should be good. So I should be done by like, you know, late morning, I'm hoping, if I get up early enough, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get in bed after my shower. 
read more of the dark one which i <laughs> can't wait. I can't wait. It's so good. It feels so bad and I love it and I can't wait to read more. Saturday. So I don't know what happened last night, but I went down to my parents, had pizza for dinner. It was great. We watched a movie. Super fun. I got home, did my evening chores, went to bed, and woke up at 1 a.m. with the worst stomach ache I've ever experienced. And I was awake for like a good two to three hours just feeling miserable. And yeah, so I don't know if I have food poisoning or a stomach bug or what. I still don't feel that great today, but I have my trifecta for a stomach bug, which is peppermint tea with honey, ginger ale, and water. I don't know what it is about ginger ale. I don't think it actually helps with stomach aches. Like it, it doesn't say it does like when you look it up, but it helps me for some reason. I don't know if it's the carbonation or the ginger or what but it does help a little so I'm drinking all of that I haven't eaten anything today and it's like 1 30 but honestly I'm not even hungry like my stomach's just not happy so I don't know I do know that a few of my coworkers left early on Friday with a stomach bug and I hope I didn't get it like I never talked to them on Friday so like I don't know I don't know I just, I hope I didn't get it. But you know, we all share like the copier and printer and stuff. So like maybe, you know, touching that, I could have gotten germs, I don't know. So not feeling the greatest, but you know, it's fine. But I do have reading updates for you all. So I did start and finish The Salt Grows Heavy today. This is an audiobook that I listened to and it was, fine. <laughs> I think a good review of this book would be that it's a love story that is very grotesque and also uh involves cannibalism. So interesting. <laughs> it was fine. It just wasn't my favorite thing I've ever read. I just think it was a little short. It felt kind of like a fever dream, which I don't totally love in my books. So I gave it a three star. It was fine, but I don't know. I like maybe I'll try to reread it physically next time because maybe the audiobook was not the way to go but I don't know I read it while I put Christmas away though so it was fine it got me through my chores and then I also finished the dark one this morning oh my goodness it was great <laughs> um I'm probably I don't know I don't know if it's a four star I'm gonna put it through cop pile and see what it comes out to be I'm thinking it's like a three or four star read but I'm I'm loving this series. Honestly, I think I'm going to start book three today. Like, I don't know what it is about this that I'm just so addicted. I just can't stop. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this vlog, I don't even like Peter Pan as a story. So for me to be flying through this like dark romantic retelling of Peter Pan, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. So book three is Their Vicious Darling. So I might be starting this today, which... I I don't know y'all like I'm reading these books like one a day so if like I start this one I could probably finish it today and then I could read book four tomorrow and like I'd have finished the series within a few days which is insanity but we'll just see I do have some chunky adult fantasy I need to get through this month as well but it's fine. I also have all those graphic novels I mentioned earlier, so I'll probably be reading those during sprints that are happening in like an hour and 40 minutes or so. But for now, I'm going to take a break from reading and play a video game for a bit, just like take a break so I don't totally burn myself out and keep working on laundry. And uh, yeah, so it's been a great Saturday. I got all of Christmas put away, which I really should have put away like two weekends ago, but it's been busy and I haven't been feeling like putting it away, but finally finally did it so found room for everything that I bought new this year which I bought a lot of new Christmas things which was fun so put all that away and then just did my normal cleaning and stuff and so now it's just time to chill the rest of the weekend which I'm excited about so I'm gonna play my video game for a bit and then join sprints and probably blast through a ton of the graphic novels on my TBR so I'll chat with y'all when I got more updates 
Hello friends! Happy last day of the 48 hour readathon. So I think this readathon ends at 3 p.m. my time. So currently pulled up sprints that Steph is hosting, so watching those. And I'm trying to decide what I want to read next. But first, let's chat about what I did read yesterday. So I don't think I told you I finished the dark one. I really enjoyed it. I give it a 3.5 rating. I think it was really fun and had a great time with it. So then I also picked up Wings of Fire, the graphic novel book seven. I loved this. This was one of my favorites in the like second era of the Wings of Fire series. Like this book, like the actual like novelization is my favorite. Like Winter is such an interesting character and I think he just, he's such a great character and I love, I love all the dragons in this series. Like honestly, it's middle grade, but it's so good. So I highly, highly enjoyed it and had the best time reading it. Give it five stars because I just love this series so, so much. And then I also read Heartstopper Volume 5 and I did find out that there's actually going to be a sixth and final volume. So there's going to be one more and then it's over. But this was really great. I think it explored some really great topics as all of them do and explored them in like a fun way, but also, you know, had some nuances to everything. And I just, I just loved it. So it was great. I give it four stars. It was fantastic. So now I have a conundrum. <laughs> I don't know what I want to read next, which is uh, the one downfall of being a mood reader. So I don't know if I want to pick up book three in that uh, dark romance series that I'm currently reading, which is Their Vicious Darling. So I don't know if I just like want to read books three and four this week and then I can start on my like adult high fantasy books that I'd like to read in January because I have two read-alongs that I'm participating in that I'm like prioritizing over everything like they definitely need to be read during the month because I want to keep up with everyone but I don't know like on our discord we're saying that we're gonna start the Rune of Kings like mid-month so mid-month would be like this upcoming weekend which is a long weekend for me so I have three days off which is nice so do I like entertain myself with other books until this weekend and then start Ruin of Kings? Or should I start Elantris this week and read that? But then I don't want to put like two adult fantasy books back to back and then be like burnt out because that's like a lot of, you know, brain power. So I'm almost wondering if I should just read like books three and four in the Lost Vicious Boys series and read that this week and then this weekend I can just start Ruin of Kings and then I can read Elantris after that or something like I don't know I need to get Ruin of Kings and Elantris read this month for sure but Elantris is like the only book I'm reading for Brandy Sandy Long until we get to Way of Kings because I've read all of Mistborn and I don't really want to reread it. So I'm just going to skip out on all those books. I think I'll attend all the live shows for them, but just not reread them because I just, I don't know. I don't really want to reread. I've, I've not been in a reread mood for a couple years now and that's still holding true so yeah i don't know <laughs> i might ask in the sprints chat like what people think i should do because i'm conflicted i'm kind of leaning towards my plan of reading these two books the last two books in the series and then it'd be done it'd be a completed series and then i could start ruin of kings this weekend but uh yeah, I don't know. Because, like, how much time would that leave me to read Elantris if I were to get Elantris done this month? So, let's say I start Ruin of Kings maybe on the 13th, maybe read it within a week, so get it done by, like, the 20th. So, yeah, I'd actually have, like, a full week and some change to get Elantris done. So, not bad. Not bad. I could maybe even squeeze in a quick romance if I need a palette cleanser between the two. So, We'll just see where my mood takes me. Honestly, it could go anywhere. I could be changed my mind in like three minutes. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that is like the one problem of being a mood reader is like, I don't know what to do, <laughs> but it's fine. So I'm gonna pose a question to the chat. Be like, yo, what do you think I should do? And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So just want to give y'all an update. So I will pick something to read and go with that. 
and uh, we'll go from there. So just gonna work on laundry today. I am feeling a little bit better today. My stomach doesn't feel quite so queasy and I just don't feel as awful. Like yesterday was terrible. I was just like nauseous all day. I didn't eat anything yesterday. For dinner, I tried to eat some rice, which so far you have stayed down and I had some pretzels. And that's like all I ate yesterday. Like I didn't eat hardly anything. So I'm pretty hungry today. So I'm hoping that's a good sign that like if I'm hungry, I have an appetite. I did not have an appetite yesterday. I felt horrible. So hoping that's passed. I think it was actually food poisoning now because my mom also got kind of sick yesterday too. And we had eaten the same pizza. So I'm a little suspicious that might've been that pizza we ate, which is really sad because it's a locally owned business. And we know the owners and like their pizza's great. Like I think I was telling y'all about the pickle pizza. It's my favorite, but something about it the other night did not agree with me and I was having it. It was not great. So definitely not gonna be going there for a while. Like when I have like food poisoning from somewhere, I either never go there again or at least don't go there for a very, very long time. <laughs> like I love their pizza. So I'm hoping you know, maybe to go back there in a couple of months when I can forget about this incident. But uh, anywho, I'm gonna figure out what the heck I'm gonna read. Maybe play more of my Pete's game, which is so addicting, it's so fun. I played like an hour of that yesterday. It was great, it was so fun. I'm in my cozy gaming era as well. Like, we're just loving it over here. This lighting is so ridiculously bright, but hi. It is basically the end of the readathon. Actually, it's definitely the end of the readathon. That's why I'm here. The readathon ended for me at 3 p.m. and it was a really productive readathon. I got so many things accomplished and it was really nice. So let's recap what I read. So I finished the dark one, which I was already in the middle of, but I finished that up. I started and finished The Salt Grows Heavy, which I enjoyed, but I think it's better as a physical book rather than listening to the audiobook. I don't think the audiobook was a great choice, personally. So if I were to reread that book, I would definitely read it physically, so just something to keep in mind. I read Heartstopper Volume 5, which was amazing. I read Wings of Fire, the graphic novel book 7, which was amazing. And I did start a Dowry of Blood on audio, which I don't know if I mentioned that I did that, but I did start that today while I was doing some more chores and and I'm really liking it so far. The writing style is just immaculate. Like, I'm obsessed. It is so beautifully written and I'm just enjoying it so much. So, really enjoying that. I'm really glad I am because I have a book that I pre-ordered last year that's coming in this year and it's a prequel or not a prequel. It's like part of a companion or something to A Diary of Blood or it's set in the same world or something. It's somehow connected. I think it's called An Education of Malice. So, I can read that book when it gets in, which is exciting. So yeah, and then I kind of sort of started Their Vicious Darling. Um, I do think I am gonna read this. I think I can blast through this and the fourth book before the weekend because Steph said that we're starting Ruin of Kings this weekend, which is perfect. It's a long weekend, so I will have several days to read that book and it'll be a great time. So that's basically it for this vlog. I'm sure it's just a short, quick, sweet little vlog, but it was a great little 48 hour readathon. I got several things done that I wanted to and did a lot of cleaning and that was very much necessary. So I might just do weekend vlogs. Like I feel like weekly vlogs, like doing a vlog during the week when I'm working is just too much because I already have so many things I need to get done after work and before work. So on the weekend, it's a little more chill because I'm just doing chores and then in between chores, I'm usually reading or gaming or something. So let me know if that's okay with y'all, but I think I might try that because then I also give myself several days to edit it. Like it doesn't need to come out like immediately, but uh, yeah, so hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Comment a book sack emoji if y'all made it to the end of the video, and I will see you all in another video soon. Goodbye!